Pillow Records, Straight Profit. It was on them crack can the red trucks. That's why I tell you, why even that block party I did back in the day. The first time the whole city saw that they had set up was at my block party. Nigga had been seeing them and skit scat around, but yeah. them boys came and shut the block down like nigga this good. Man, I remember. Oh, oh, it's just me and you in the dark. Oh, I caught you peeking at my soul. Yeah, yo, what's up with you, fam? Like, I remember back in the day, and I, and I gotta say this before I even, because I'm happy as fuck to have you on this show, because this, for me and you, it's 20 years later, man. And, yeah. and I seen you, and I admired the shit out of your uh, record label all the time, Bust Back Records, back in the day, I was in a hard time. Yeah, and, so hard. Uh, and I remember I was asking a lot of people for features and stuff like that, you know, and it was like clickish back then. And you was the only dude, you was like, yo, whenever. Like, you never gave a fuck. I was like, damn, I was Eddie Bo back then. You know? Eddie Bo. Yep. I was Bo, oh, man, hard time, big gully. So yeah, long. big. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know, think about hard time records and bus back, man. You know, we started together. We, our first tours were together. Yeah. I know. We did every, man, that, that was the days. You know yeah. what? If it wasn't for that movement, I don't think it would be what it is now. And, and one thing about it is, you never gave up. I think uh, I seen a video with you in it the other day, and it was like uh, you the king of Mobile or some shit. I was like, that nigga slick is. Because <laughs> <laughs> niggas don't know. If they can't talk about them tours back then, they don't know the groundwork that had to be put in for Mobile to be where it's at. Man, I told, I told these cats, man, I'm in the trial time video, man. I'm in the trial yeah. time video. Yeah. I throw back dirty day. I'm in, I'm in the trial time, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Okay, for um, for all of my uh, fans and stuff like that, uh, listeners out there, I want them to uh, really know who you are and everything like that. Can you tell us where you were born, my brother? Man, I'm DJ Dirty Dan from Mobile, Alabama, man. 1010 Baltimore, Baltimore Project. What? Ooh, shit. But, man. I ain't know you was from, oh yeah, you is a down the bay, motherfucker. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Down the bay, Y'all used to run everybody out of Mardi Gras. Oh. <laughs> that, that is though, man. Yeah. Mardi Gras. It, it, depended, it, it depended what side of the street you was on. Was you on the McDonald's side or the Hard Dixon side? Right, right, right. right. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, you started out, now, now, let me ask you this. How did you start up with, uh, how did you start out in entertainment, period? Because you've evolved into so many different things, my brother. Man, uh, I started, man, I, uh, when I graduated from high school, I wanted to do music. But uh, I went to the Army. I graduated and went to the Army. I got stationed in Schofield, Banks, Hawaii. And that's where my journey started at. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, I had my own money, you know, in the military. Uh, infantrymen, loud bang, bang, loud bravo. Ooh, shit. I started going to the music seminars uh, when we was out, the, out, you know, when we went in the field or whatnot, and that ultimately led to my first group, which was uh, BTB and then I four, I four. Uh, we started uh, in Hawaii, and that's where I started, you know, saying my journey. I shot my first music video there. I was talking about VHS, man. My first music v v VHS, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, uh, and I dropped my first project over there, and then uh, we came back. About 99, well, I came back in 99 to Mobile and we started Buzz Back Records. Wow. That's crazy as fuck. So, like, you went straight from high school to the military? You didn't uh, just go to college and yeah, like that? Uh, I graduated like that May. I left, I ended up leaving like October. Uh, so, I got a chance to get some of the streets. My mom was like, man, you can't be out here, man. You ain't yeah. got no, you out here wild. I got me an orange Cadillac. I'm right here wild. All we want to do is hang out every day and live out, live out of hotels and stuff. My mom was like, <laughs> and then when I got the opportunity to go to the army, I, all I remember a recruiter telling me was, "Man, man, you can you gonna join the, when you join the army, man, you gonna be driving tanks, all types types of things." 
I got to the guy in the oil man and see one tank the whole time I was in there. I walked around with. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's like that. It's like... <laughs> hey, boy, I thought I was gonna see tanks and all type of shit. Oh, I, man. I, I tell my listen, man. I walked everywhere I went with, with, with 75 pounds on my back and an M16 in my hand. But out of time to think, that's why that, that's why we bust back. You know what I'm saying? Because even oh, was, that makes sense. Our logos was the cross rifles, like infantry. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. But our logo, our logo, our logo is a cross rifle. You no, know, like 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 the infantry. So that's that's where all that kind of arrived from as far as just the symbolism of, of bus back records. But once we got the um, starting bus back record, you know, you, just, you know, all us from down the Bay neighborhood thing, and you know, I, I definitely was the catalyst because I just came back from Hawaii with a, with a vision I want to do music, and I just got with my OGs Tony and Bama Black, and uh, and we we formed Bus Back Records. That's crazy, man. That that's dope. So y'all, so do you still have those parties? Because I know it's a new Bus Back Records right now. Man, you know, you know, Bus Back's a family, man. You know, we together forever. Uh, you know, I'm 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 the one of those main products of, of Buzzback Records. You know what I'm saying? But uh, the new Buzzback is just some, some new some new some new talent. You know, Solid Black and Neasy, um, my Octane Game, Barbie the Jeweler, like artists that I just want to help. You know what I'm saying? And um, so that's 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 part of that new wave. But you know, it's it's a it's a big family, man. It's like it's generations of, of generations of, of Buzzback Records at this point. Man, I know, man. Like I know so I I know so many artists affiliated to where I I'm not calling names out ever. But yeah. you know that I know, like, man, it's been like, dude, you are the shit. Like, I, I'm so proud of you, brother. Like, I have, you have no idea at like, out of everybody who started up, man, you just grew and grew and grew and grew. And then you evolved into a DJ. And I said, oh, he gonna fuck it up. Like, well, I yeah. remember back in the days, I think it was 2010 or something like that. I was in Nashville and I said, I looked and I said, damn, Dan on top on that bitch. Like, you know, like, yeah. so yeah. did you, did you, uh, was you always like real ambitious? Or, I mean, because you got your own day or something like that, don't you? Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I got my own day in the city now. You know, I got the key to the city. That's fucking crazy <laughs> shit. <laughs> for what we do, though, for what we what we built, though, like I got the key for music, for being a part of the hip hop scene, for 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 being a personality, and just really just helping people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and that, even in my proclamation, they gave me with my day. That's what it's all about, man. And um. And uh, I was about to say something about uh, back in, back in, in, in 2000. You were a part of this show. Uh, you remember the first hip-hop summer jam that we did at the Temple? Yes. Oh, my God, yes. That was the first time, like, like to be 20 years in the, in the business now. That was the first show I ever done. And I had 15-day acts or 25-night acts. And I had the whole music scene at the Temple. That was your you shit? Huh? I said that was your shit? At the temple? The hip-hop yeah. summer jam? Yeah. That was me. I didn't know that shit, man. I just knew we was, I was in that bitch and you was a cool that, ass that was, dude. That was one of y'all first shows. I was like. That was, that was on it. Hard time was on that show. And then, uh, then the other thing is the, um, the block, remember we did the block party RV? Yep. I remember I think, all of that. Yeah, that was me too. Damn. Yeah. And you and, and you know what, what separates you from a lot of motherfuckers, you never held your nuts on folks. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, yeah. I gotta keep giving you flowers because like I don't be in mobile a lot, and nothing like that. But now, like over the time, if I follow your track record, man, dude, you are a solid dude. Like you've always been that guy. Even back then, like you was just see, I didn't know you had through the shows, but you could have been like on some other shit. But you never was like that. You was always in the streets. I can't, I'm vouching for that. Yeah. I, I seen you in all kinds of trap. I always ran into you, dap you up. You know? Hey, that's about, about a boat. Like in, in a time where, well, nigga had to pick a side. You, 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 what side are you from? You out of from PA, you from Tumbleville, from down the bay. Or, yep. <laughs> we, we was in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, man, you know, um, you know, I, I was thinking about that because I remember you. I remember you being a part of that. And then, yeah. um, then the other uh, 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 back, back to what you was asking me about uh, my ambition. I just, I just got the passion and love. I just wanted. Listen, man, my, my I'm gonna tell you, I, I tell people this all the time. One of my main things was wanted to do it from the house. Man, I saw no limited cash money doing it from the house, and I wanted to do this shit for Mobile, bro. Straight up, you know, and like that. That was my whole goal. So when I got when I got back to the city. I, we didn't have a scene. We didn't even have platforms. 
And it was a few, oh. you know, people were doing their things, you know, that was popping at the time, like like uh like y'all guys, uh DMP, oh. uh big, it's a few guys popping. So I just started creating avenues and doing stuff and that started with the hip hop summer jam. But that was my whole goal. But I tell cats yeah. now, like, you know, with me wanting, you know, you look at me and you say, damn, what what you know, what Dan got going on? What's going on with Dan right now? I'm doing what I what I plan to do, man. Like, I got 20 years in the business. I, I've been on radio like tw- them, them, them. I mean, over 20 years, you know, at the music, but 20 years in radio. Uh, I got my day. Yeah. In, I got the key to the city. I got my own week in the state. I mean, I got uh, 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 a stamina albums out over 16 videos. And I help a, a number, everybody from the top to the bottom came through this, so I helped their career. So I'm truly doing it from the house, man. I'm truly yeah. doing it from November. I'm actually in my, my brand new uh, uh, radio station I'm building right now, Alabama Hip Hop Radio, the location. Yeah. I'm in here right now, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, getting it together right now because it's all about the artists, it's about the future, it's about the yeah. future of the Alabama hip hop music scene. Like, these, these people need platforms, man. They don't have to run to, to Cali or Atlanta or New York to get yeah. exposure. They can get it right here in their own city. Right here. Yeah. I just, he's one of those guys helping people. Yeah. If I do the video, you got directed. You got the vision. Sad, sad, blood. Davis, the DJ. These niggas lame playing game. Don't get your scalp split. This ain't no rap skit. Down bad head to trap break. In the city, I'm moving hell away. Don't get yellow tape. Sound bold left right now. Me and the fella straight. Take out the door bomb. Be that 20, come through with Jill. In the eight, be that my body. You know I chew a silver. Michael Corp on me. It glitz and listen, just tap in. First show got the scrap in. Water whipping, not app in. Now they think I'm the avatar. Gave a whole half a bar. Bitch, I be so high, I might fuck around and grab a star. I'm so disrespectful, got no respect for the sneak this. And if hoes keep this, and they gon' end up in creep this. And get a boat for 24, or it up 16. I'm a white daddy, black sir. Oh yeah, I mix lean. Niggas be hate, bitch. I seen uh, that you got Alabama Hip Hop Radio. Uh, I seen, uh, I had interviewed uh, Young Hit. Little Hit, cause I mean, talking about Young Hit. Yeah. Yeah. I had interviewed Hit, and uh, I had seen that. I was like, damn. Shit, like, bro, you do so much stuff, man. Uh, yeah. you you got a uh, hip hop summit coming up uh, on July 10th. Yeah, well, 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 well the uh, the uh, it's a, it's a it's a um, a music summit, the Mobile Music Summit. We got Windy Day. We got we got we got Windy Day. We also got um, we got my man Marcus Dean, and we got a. Uh, a host of other people that are gonna be special guests, but it's all partner my partnership with the Mobile Arts Council. Um, I've been fighting for performing arts with the city just to let them know that you know it's a part of the culture of what we right. have going on. And I, I need I need I need them to understand that we are own scene. We are own we've been building this stuff for so long, bro. Like that's been my whole goal. So the music summit is from um, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're doing it at the Mobile uh Singer Theater, uh probably about a hundred seats, man. And it's only for people that really want to get educated. If you want to get educated Damn. about the music business for your professionals, man, think about Wendy Day. Wendy Day is a person, she helped had money broke in their first deal. That first 30 million, that was Wendy Day, Wendy Day on the forefront of that with them. What? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So she's she's our lead oh. uh gangster. and then my guy Marcus Dean. I mean, he's he, he's a professional man. He just he just know about copyrights and publishing and all the things that you need to know. And you can never get too educated about this stuff because it's always tra- changing rules and the regulations of, of how this thing is going going on. You know what I'm saying? So, yep. man, that's my just trying to help people. Yeah, I see, you, man. All right, what was the motivation behind? Because hold on, hold on, before I say that, you still rap, bro. You still rapping? Like, what's up? Hey, man, listen, man, I can't stop this, man. Listen, that's why I tell people, hey, hey, man, the go, the, the secret to doing this, man, is never yeah. stop. You can't never stop doing this, man. You got the love and passion for this. You got to keep going. So, yeah, I drop a record every once in a while. I got records coming out uh, with some artists. Of course, I'm, I'm, I'm like the new calendar of this shit. But I'm just Bama. <laughs> I'm Bama. I'm Big Bama. Now. I'm Big Bama, but you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but the thing about it is, I mean, as, as I pay attention, <laughs> it's a lot of stuff that we've been doing the whole time that we never gave ourselves credit for. Right, right. You've been. We've been doing these things that, that that's happening in the industry and, and what people see worldwide through the social media now. Man, we yeah. was doing that after Trump. So, you know, we know what's 
on. It's just all about supporting the scene that because because Alabama popping now. Ain't no oh, more. It's popping. It's popping. Ain't no more Alabama trying to get uh, get on no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We it's... the whole thing is leveling it up. You know what I'm saying? Taking it to the next level and supporting the ones that's on the way up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Like um, I'm starting to notice. Like it, I mean, like it's it's popping so hard to where like uh, if the crime go down, should it be a one? How is it? Um, what's your what's, what's your relationship to the black community? I know you mean a lot to them out there right now. Um. And I I am I'm from I'm from 1010 Baltimore Projects, man, the heart of the city. Right like on. like a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people, I mean, first of all, as a personality. And when you when you're afraid of your personality, you're not mm-hmm. only afraid of your personality, bro. It's a, it's, a, it's a greater responsibility in being that personality. Like right. I gotta I gotta be a counselor to people, I gotta be a friend to people, I gotta be a listener, I gotta pay attention right. to what's going on in my surroundings. So I had a chance to build with the community and, and be that voice for them in certain, certain, in certain, um, certain settings and things like that. So I'm with the city 100 as far as when it comes to that. But I think the only thing I feel like, if, if a person gonna step in that forefront, man, the, the city and the community gotta wrap their arms around him, protect that because it's a lot come with that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Especially when True. you are not affiliated with a company or a brand, and you your own, you your own, you your own man, and, and, you, and, you're, and you're speaking up and speaking at the system. Like you need that support, but I, I'm attached, man, to the to the city and to the community. Right now, I'm working on this thing I want to do called OG Call. Um, right. My vision is you know, having have, having a powwow with, with with fathers and uncles, so they can bring their sons and nephews out. Oh yeah, okay. You feel me? Like like the whole goal is if you bring your son and your nephew to this to this event, you know we fit it's fifty us that if it says it's fifty guys. And everybody that brought their son and their nephew, now we got 150 people. And at the end of the day, it's your family. So it ain't no random kid just walking off the street. Because Damn, that's dope. In this situation. But at least somebody can come and listen. Because the whole time I've been doing my community outreach over, over the last 14 years with Alabama Hip Hop Week, like, it's been about the family, trying to include the family. But the kids will walk to the park because they mom yeah, at work, yeah. mom going on, because they want to hear. But when they go back, I uh, think it's a good positive message. They go back to the house and get cussed out again, talking about what they ain't doing. Right. Knowing they had all this positivity today. Good so my shit. goal with the OG call, get, get some of my partners out here, get some men out here, some real OGs from all these different neighborhoods. Mm-hmm. And let's have a conversation with these kids, man. I mean, it's, it's about the girls as well, but the boys. We need them, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, we need to, yeah, because. Uh, you <laughs> this is a little off the subject, man. But do you think it's a kind of agenda, man? You think our boys feminine and shit? Cause we wouldn't like that. Say what? Say what? You think our our, our people that softened up a little bit or something like that? Cause nah, yeah. nah, 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 nah. It, it ain't the fact that people soften up. It's the education level, bro. Like, like you already know, like it's a whole general generation. These kids are smarter than their parents, bro. Yes, they are. You know what I'm saying, like, 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 yep. like, like, you, you know, what I'm saying that's your parents. You gotta respect that, regardless. But your mama don't even know work a computer. So guess what? Yeah. She whole world that you that you getting exposed to and, and, and all types of things come at you every day. You know what I'm saying? Right, she right. On Facebook. Well, you on 17 other apps besides Facebook. And she just get on Facebook. So that was going on, man. So it, yeah. it ain't it ain't people soften up. It's the technology, it's the it's it's the, the education level, bro. It's right. it's different. How is the game change? Uh uh, since the days of WLBB, I seen that you was out there. That's, <laughs> that's where I had my first interview at. Hey man, listen man. All I know was we was in a transitional mode. You know, we had been out doing all that <laughs> stuff, man. And I and I and I, I'm trying to find my way. I'm like, what's that next level thing? Uh, so I got a job at the at the gospel radio station, bro. Hell and uh, yeah. that was my first uh my first introduction into radio. I was doing a weekend. I had a good, the hip hop gospel praise party. And I was doing it. My cousin was she was the, she was a the receptionist there, and she said they needed help one day, and I went and did that. That was my first start into radio. Uh, probably worked out almost like a year, I was a year and a half before I uh I left and went to BLX. But I how yeah. I, I was the BLX. I uh I actually left the station, got back on the ground, moving around. I mean left WLBV, got on the ground, and then went back and interned at BLX. So I didn't even oh. go, I didn't come in with the mindset like I'm gonna get paid because I'm what I do. Right. I humble my 
He got albums, everything out. I went, I became an intern in radio. Dude, station. you was fucking popping when you hit that. Look, you hit 93, it was over with. <laughs> That's what I said, though, Bo. I was like, what the next big thing I could do? Shit. It's our leader, motherfucker, join the radio station. I went to the radio. <laughs> We, was, so much, we had so much activity going on, man. How you could just go quiet? How could you just just fall off? Bro, you I never find- did, and you still be rapping. That's what I'm saying, like, bro, like you find time to still drop records. Like you ain't yeah. fucking with these niggas, man. <laughs> I I drop, I drop shit. I went to radio station in '03. What? One of my biggest projects came out in '07. Days of Dirt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, we had, we had a couple songs off there that they, they really rock with it. I was, I was working at the radio station, didn't play from Nick, from Nick at night. He just, cause you know, Nick don't play now all your records. He don't rock, rock, rock with the records that he like. <laughs> yeah. He like third record, so he gave him some love on that. But um, but yeah, man, it, you know, I just, I just continue to push because I think for the last twenty years, bro, especially just working at the radio station, I would leave the radio station and go back to work. Like I'll be in somebody's yeah. studio at the station, bro. What? Yeah, because you've been working. I mean, you really you showing uh you showing others like at the same time still like I although you do verbally, verbally you help a lot of people, but like physically, like people who's watching you, they're learning exactly. I mean, you are the blueprint, bro. Like literally, like you are the blueprint. Um, yeah, appreciate that, bro. Like, cause because you know, uh C now got this new record I call uh, Roses, you know what I'm saying? And everybody need to get their flowers and roses right now, man. Cause the way the way the, the way this world working right now, man, you never know how. Oh, so I appreciate that. Oh man, I I gotta get like man. Look, when it come to mobile, I mean we got our legends there, but at the same time, man, nigga, you can get cussed out if they don't mention you in the top all kinds of shit. Like you got a lot of category. They got to mention you. You know what I'm saying? Like man, they are really hating if they don't. They might get shot. Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> bullshit. I mean, I, and that's the other thing. I'm glad you said that, bro, because it's like yeah. the education level to what the music scene is, bro, bro. They don't know that this motherfucker got real history. Like, you know, everybody think they're inventing what's going on right now. Like, like, and, and, no, and no foundation. You know what I'm saying? This has been a building process for a long time. That's why I told them. I said, I, even the new generation, man, y'all got to give Rich Boy his roses. No matter what y'all think about Rich, Rich was the first to put on that level. Your biggest roses, because Big was the first at what he did. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Like these folks deserve that because they got real. Like you, you, if you go to certain places, you still gonna hear these boys' records. Yeah, you are. Yes. You know, he's, or you stay. You still gonna hear some. You gonna hear some Mr. Big for sure. Big get played everywhere. What? Go to yeah. Go to any strip. Oh, trial time. That still get played everywhere. That shit gonna get yeah. Well, I was DJing at the strip club, man. I was playing. Um, uh, I was playing most of his shit. Like they, some people just looking like, damn, that's that shit. You know what I mean? Like. If you know, you know, you know. Type shit. Yeah. What's what city you in? I'm in Atlanta right now. You know. the, hey, 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 yeah, hey, man, yeah. I'll be all over the place, man. I'm gonna be in Atlanta for a minute, though. I I, I like to bridge the gap between Atlanta and Mobile and uh yeah. you know, like Jacksonville, New Orleans. Cause I'm last couple of years too. Though. I've been in the A back the last couple of years back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm in the city building the station right now in Mobile, but yeah, uh I've been, I've been in A heaven. Tell me about the station, man. Like you, you uh. So, so what's happening? Just tell me about the station. What's okay? So, uh, the new platform is Alabama Hip Hop Radio. You know, uh, we're, this year we celebrate uh 14 years of Alabama Hip Hop Week, which I started out as a community outreach week and, uh, and, uh, and just bridging and giving artists a platform to uh to travel. You know what I'm saying throughout the state and just really get exposure. But now, last year when COVID happened, uh, we launched our digital platform, Alabama Hip Hop Radio. It's an online station, uh, but you know we got all these different platforms from all the social media stuff where we're able to do interviews. Right now, I'm in a recording studio in a podcast studio that we're building right here, where people wow. can get studio uh, sessions, or they can, uh, rent space for, for for doing their own podcasts and different things like that. Uh, we got I look at everything as, as in sets, so it's like uh, I got about eight sets in here. Uh, and it, 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 every, all the, everything is interchangeable. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, that's where I'm at with it right now. Let's see if I can flip my camera. Maybe I can show you a little bit of it. Yeah. See, I got the thing on the Nah, I got to take that filter off. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that's, I mean, it, it ultimately, man, it's our own for the state. Alabama Hip Hop Radio Online, uh, the website is alabamahiphopradio.com. 
and you just follow it, man. You'll find out what's going on with Alabama artists, and not just Alabama artists, but artists outside the state as well, because it's just a platform within the state. One thing yeah. we've been missing time, which we got a lot of now, are platforms to get exposure for artists. So you know what I'm saying? That's and that's throughout the whole state, man. So shouts out to Sound of the Hill in uh, Huntsville. Shouts out to uh, Dummies Podcast in Birmingham. Shouts out to Coalition DJs Alabama. You know what I'm saying? Across the state and uh, and the shit, Alabama Hip Hop Radio. You know what I'm saying? We here. Yeah. Hey, um, do you got a top three MCs in Mobile of all time? Please? Of all times? Just top, yeah, top three. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do it all the time. Right? <laughs> the times are so current right now. It's so, it's so. Hey, no, nah, I'm like, I'm, uh, if you don't ask, if look, if you don't answer, uh, it's okay because you know how many motherfuckers catch feelings if you answer that shit. <laughs> Hey, that, hey, that's why I said, boy, you try to get me, you try to get me uh, caught up in the situation, man. I ain't, <laughs> hey, I, you know, I got a lot of controversy going on right now because I told him what. <laughs> If I do the video, you got directed. We got the vision. Sad, sad, blood. Darius, the DJ. These niggas lame playing game. Don't get your scalp split. This ain't no rap skit. Down bad had the trap bricks in the city. I'm moving hell away. Don't get yellow tape. Sound bold, yeah, right now. Me and the fella straight. Check out the door, boom. Be that 20, come through with Jill. In the A, he out my body. You know I chew a silver. Michael Corp on me. It glisten, listen, just tap in. First show got the scrap in. Water whipping, not app in. Now they think I'm the avatar. Gave a whole half a bar. Bitch, I be so high, I might fuck around and grab a straw. I'm so disrespectful, got no respect for the sneak this And if hoes keep this, and they gon' end up in creep this And get a vote for 24, or it up 16 Mama white, daddy black, sir, oh yeah, I mix lean Niggas be hate, bitch, and too Hey, but listen, uh, all-time OGs, though, I, 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 I do have uh, a little list, man and You know, Mr. Big at the top of that You know it Big, I big Big, Big is number one because of a lot of things, and most importantly because he was the first independent solo artist to do it from the state of Alabama. Yep. There's an artist that came and went and, and has done stuff, but I'm talking about, uh, he had, a, he had a, 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 a deal with Warlock Records back then, which gave him the exposure to get outside the state and take trial time to BET. And that was right. big 20, 22 years ago. Uh, so, so now it's like, it don't matter what came after that. He was the first one, so he always gonna get that. And then, and then, and then, then the other thing is too. You know, he lived twice. He had two different lives. Diamond uh, Eye. He lived. He lived as uh, the, uh, the last Mister Big, and then he lived as Diamond Eye. Yep. As last Mister Big, he was a ruthless gangster, all that pimp. And as Diamond Eye, he was a ruthless gangster, Diamond Eye pimp. <laughs> <laughs> he was. And it was a difference. It was a difference. It, it was a difference. Man, listen, man, the, the night Big got shot uh, the first time, well, not the, the, the fourth time, because you know he got shot a lot of times. Yeah. Over his, <laughs> but he got shot twice in the head. And um, oh. we supposed to went out that night, but I was working, I was, I, had, I, had, I was working, I was doing the morning show with Ray Ray at the time, you know what I'm saying? We had to get up like, I had to be up at like five in the morning. So we had hung out, we had talked a little earlier, we had went out, I left and then he went out to uh to a couple of spots and he was just like uh well I'm gonna go do this shit then we'll get up tomorrow. Now I got to the station that morning, man, and uh me and Ray was in that sitting in the studio and then my man Xander man from uh, Channel Five called and he was like, hey man, what's uh what's Mr. Big real name? He was like Marby, Maurice Pierce. And he was like, man, Big just got shot in the head, bro. And I'm blown. Cause I was with the man last night, like yeah, you know, that shit was that. Like and we wanted to be dumb and stuff, and then I called him instantly left a voicemail, bro. Seven days later, I promise you, like, it might have been two weeks. Well, I said seven <laughs> days. <laughs> oh, to my phone. I'm on the air. Same thing on the air. That boy said, come see me, baby. When I seen a man, a boy came back out there, come with man, and started a whole new life and, and, and got comfortable. I mean, found his self-confidence again to be uh, to be diamond eye and once he got the diamond in his eye, he got his persona back going and he was rolling. Yep. And we rocked out, man. One of my partners, we was on the road one time. My partner said, man, hey, man, how will it's, it's me, Big, and Ward on the road? Ward talking about, hold up, man. 
you gonna let the man drive with one eye? <laughs> <laughs> it's his, it's his, um, it's the left side. So, oh yeah. man, it's crazy, man. Uh, and, but we, I let him drive though. Kind of like, that's laughing. That's yeah. What you gonna do? Tell him no. <laughs> That's my dude, though. So, you know, uh, me and Big had a great relationship, man. And uh, I got so much love and respect for him, man. Uh, I wish he was here right now. Another artist yeah. I would like to say, uh, I don't know if you knew him or not, uh, Young Thad. You ever heard of Young Thad? Young Thad, I know. I don't know him, but I know him. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I know, yeah. I was managing Thad before he got, well, before he got killed, man. And, uh, well, we, well not, basically all his career has been focused on music. You know, Thad was really heavy in the streets and shit like that, but his yeah. music was like dope. He was about to come. He had this record called Work that we had just did. We was rocking, we was rolling out. Yeah, he had some good shit. Yeah, he was coming. He was coming hard. He yeah. was representing all day, represent PA, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know what I'm saying? He lost his life, but at the end of the day, man, Thad was another one of the ones, man, that um, I, I, I just saw a bright future. Me and Nick Knight was was really his team uh, towards the end. Uh, or what, what was going on? Cause we was behind that record, trying to roll that record out, that work record. And uh, then uh, as far as uh, there's so many artists, I don't want to step on nobody's toes, man. But I got <laughs> I got to dive deep. I got to dive deep, man. You got. It. I got. I got to get young. I got to get young blue as roses, man. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You do. It's so. Yeah, it's, I, he's so he, new. He, you know what I mean? It's like yeah. He he a young OG though. You know what I'm saying? Cause at the end of the day, like Blue had a record back in the day called Go Ahead. That we that we got a lot of traction with, right? And yeah. he was rocking, rolling, and you know, some change, some things changed about his situation. But Blue never stopped. That's why Blue. That's why people see Blue today, cause he right. never gave up. And one thing Blue was gonna do, he was gonna do him some music. So now you see Blue with the the Drake feature, the the Chris <laughs> Browns and the and Two Chains. <laughs> Who he on fire? Man, all that comes from hard work and dedication. So I want to give Blue his flowers. I, I've been telling. Uh, him there for a minute, uh, telling people about him for a minute because right now people see all the success and think that she was overnight. Bro, really worked for that, man. He deserved everything yeah. coming. What about said, no, uh, Rich Boy for sure? Yeah, yeah, Rich Boy. What what about uh, C now? You think I, I, I do you think his impact impact this generation of rappers? You think they do they look at him like a big influence? Because he influenced me back in the day. Man, C now still get booked. C now get booked every week right now. He the OG for real. Hey, bro. No like out, me, me and C was together. Um, we were together. Uh, he had just shot a video. They got a video shoot tomorrow. We was together last week, man. We went out to uh, MGM Let signing party, man. Shout out to MGM Let. We went to yeah. sign Um, you know he just signed the Empire. Um, we was out there, man. C now is the OG, man. Like. Man, boy. The first real rapper that they ever seen in their life they could touch. His That's albums got me through a lot of nights. The money on a rapper was C9, because I'm talking about that you could touch, because you always saw on TV, but C9 over Gorilla Records, Straight Profit. It was on them crack candy red trucks. That's why I tell you, like, even that block party I did back in the day, the first time the whole city saw that they had set up was at my block party. Nigga had been seeing them and skit scat around, but yeah. them boys came and shut the block down like, nigga, this Man. I remember, yeah, Jim, hey, it was like no other. Yeah, L just came home too, man. Uh, L, L, uh, he, he home right now. They could do a party for him too, you know what I'm saying? What? The, man, one time for Gorilla Records for sure. Yeah, shout out to them, man. Look, did y'all ever, uh, did anybody ever do, do a documentary on that time? Or did you ever do anything like that? Man, I'm, I've been working on it for a while, man. I got, I got an untold story of, uh, of MOB and, um, oh, that's gonna be hot. I, I've been trying. I've been trying to just get so much, bro. But I got it though. I got a lot. Oof. The hardest part of it, I think, is not leaving nobody out, man. It's hard because right. it, it's it's some people that really deserve that that that, that uh, you know, they, they they deserve that acknowledgement. You know what I'm saying? Like, how can I do a documentary about Mobile and don't mention Beat a Mac and DMP? Yeah, like if you miss them. Not, I too tight. How can I not do a, I gotta do, a, do a documentary and not talk about too tight? How can I do a documentary and not talk about MOB, Hit House, Mr. B, they crew, talk about um, yep. Hard Time, uh, talk about Buzz Back. I gotta, yep. I gotta have all them different elements in there. And that's, and that's, we just talk about 99, 2000. Yeah, that's it. That's the foundation though. That was, that was cause Big had it, Big had that shit. He, he kicked the door open. 
Hey, and then hey, everybody else just. But listen, we can't, and then we can't forget about Keto Valentino. Oh, nigga. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, Keto had that bitch on fire. He was on Universal, wasn't he? Yeah, I, I think he ended up signing or whatnot, but you know, you know, uh, they had the record back in the day. What you know about the uh, war? You know what I'm saying? Third war, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know what the fuck it is. Shit. So, 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 so without all of that, you could never have a true mobile mobile uh, documentary if you don't start, you know, start there. You know what I'm saying? There's it, 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 so many others. That I, I mean, what about um Major Green? Mob Town yeah. Hustlers. Yeah. Mob Town Hustlers, yeah. I can't you, you can't you cannot do no documentary. There was so many groups, bro. Like and that shit was fun. That shit was real fun. It was it was. Man, just, just think about y'all. Y'all hey listen, y'all label alone had fucking the roster of 20. Yeah. At it least was, 70, it, 75. It's 20 of us. It's 20 of y'all. We on tour. We 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 pulling up in these cities doing these shows and all this stuff, man. What? Man, man, I want to send a big shout out to Big Gully, man. Man, I, that's my big bro, man. man. Gully like Gully like our second dad, cause back then Gully took took us in, and everywhere that nigga went, I went. That nigga fed me, taught me knowledge, told me to keep my head up. Like man, he kept he kept me straight all these years, bro. Man, Gully took me to California, took me to Mexico, man. He ain't no joke, is it? Man, listen, that, that was that was back then. <laughs> that was <40 laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that was, hey, that's how everything came about though. Me and Gully hooked up. When me and Gully hooked up, that's how our labels were able to merge and do that tour because like people felt like I say it was territorial. So I'm coming from down oh. the bay. I'm coming by myself to PA. See what y'all by myself. Yeah, yeah it used to be solo a lot. Like yeah, you know I, what I'm yeah. I, I guess it's calling me though. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm on my own car, so I'm always by myself on this shit. And, I, and then I be brainstorming, thinking about shit. I'm like, we can do this. I talk to myself. <laughs> man, that shit happen. Yeah. Man. Hey, yeah, man. Oh. Okay, hey, you know, I want to say this to you, though. Uh, what up? When I saw your message, bro, it brought me back, man. I, and I just, I just want to say I appreciate you, bro, for reaching out, for one. Because at the end, it's guys like you that's a part of this scene that people don't even know. That yeah. can tell the backhand of this, you know, of the story, or know enough about what happened in this market to put somebody else on. And you, right. you, you know, bro. And I just want to say right. I'm thankful for you reaching out to me and giving me uh this, your platform so we can talk about, you know, what I'm saying, you know, whatever you want to talk yeah. about, you know, what I'm saying, because you know I'm open to all of that. Yeah, man, I, I I appreciate you being on there. I, I had to, man. You know what? Like, you know, whatever it is, like the old folks say, God brought it together, man. Because uh, to be honest. Like we talked back in the day, and I was like, "Yo, every time I seen you, I was like, "Yo, I'm gonna get, we're gonna do a record together." Yeah. How we doing a record together right now? Yeah, that's it. That's it. You know what I mean? So, so a different know. time. You know, a, something that's gonna be timeless. Something gonna be unforgettable. Like you know, what yeah. I'm saying like to do digital space is the, is a way that you know we 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 digital uh uh foot uh, fingerprint at this at this point. You know what I'm saying? Dude, I right, man. And then too, Dan, I ain't going to lie, bro, I'm a motherfucking fan of yours right now. Like, dude, I'm from, I'm in Atlanta. I've been, before this, I was in Nashville, then I was in Jacksonville. I graduated college. Man, I've been watching you because I know you. You feel me? Yeah. Like, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm proud. I'm so happy to have you on this platform. Man, this bitch going to jump. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I appreciate that. For real, man. Like, yo, I, I mean, I can't, it ain't, words can't even explain yeah. how, I am just to, to still be here relevant, you know what I'm saying, to be a part oh. of this scene. Like, man, I got, this, when I be out, I tell cats like this, man, I'm coming out the hardest market coming right now. I got no cap. I got Rollo. I got Honeycomb Brazy. I got Young Blue. I got Flo Millie. I Ooh. got, you know, man, I got, I, I got, I got solid black meat. I got so many artists coming out my market right now that's man. really making an impact. OMB peasy. That's uh, the fucking industry right now. <laughs> you feel me? I'm excited. I, I, I was at the Ugly Money Summit uh, a, a few months back, and I told him, I'm like, that's why I'm here right now. Man, my market yeah. on fire. DJ, knowing my market on fire, I got to be out here in the rest of the world, too. I got to be in the A's and the 
LAs and everything too, letting the folk know that it ain't just the artists. It's a movement, man. It's a lot of us. Yeah. yeah. They come in from all different forms too. Like we've been in a long time. So, but but for the people who been coming through this market, working this market for a long, they know who they gotta see when they come down here. They know oh, they yeah. gotta see. Man, you gotta see. <laughs> Hey, 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 bro, I make sure they know got dirty guy. I'm standing on it. <laughs> dirty guy, dirty guy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, right. Hey, who is who is the most influential person uh to you when you transition to being a DJ? Uh I'll say I'll, I'll say Ray Ray, uh Arthur Ray Russell. Yeah. Uh, he gave me an opportunity, man. You know, me, me, me coming to the radio station. I'm interning, you know, running to get coffee and, and, and driving the van and paying out flies and all that. And I hosted man. a whole year. That following year, man, he offered me a job. He, he, he called me to, he said, he said, hey, Calista, come to the office, come talk to me. He said, man, I got something for you. Come in the morning, come see me. Be at 5.30. I did the morning show with him uh, one morning. As we got through, he said, man, if you can be here every day, every morning at 5.30, I want, you, uh, I want you on the show, bro. I want you to be a part of a team. It's going to be me and you. And that's why, that's why I, I, went, I went straight from interning to straight more. And um, I and the thing about it was, I wasn't hey. just in the studio with him. I was the guy on the street. So I would be at these different locations. Ooh, wow, this yeah. man, man, broadcast live from. Right. Man, <laughs> and, you know, he, he, why y'all don't play? But one thing Ray told me was, man, he was like, man, he said, I know it's, it might, be, it might seem crazy, bro, but these small things right here, boy, gonna give you everything that you want and need and, and, and what you're looking for and try to pursue your career. And I didn't understand that to now. I know. When I right. when I was BLX or when we were BLX part part two two years ago, uh I walked away as Dirty Dan, not Dirty Dan from 93 BLX. I'm Dirty Dan, my own brand, my own yep. entity. You know what I'm saying? People yep. knew because I, I learned some things from Ray. He told me, hey man, if you can't do it, tell these folks you can't do it. Like don't don't be selling no dreams yeah. and you, you can, it, 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 it's, it's something simple as a ticket. If you right. can't get to no ticket, Kaliska, don't tell them folks you can get to no ticket because <laughs> you're gonna come back to the country, you're gonna become a liar, or you're gonna become this or that or third. And I'm like, okay. And I just did what he told me to do, and that's 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 a part of my my my, my life. Like I ain't yeah. say, if I can get that, I'm gonna tell him, hey man, I ain't gonna better do it, but I'm in, the, I'm in the space right now. I feel like I never can do anything right now, but go <laughs> right. tell a nigga the truth. I ain't gonna lie. To that's me. the I truth, know. though. Like that, you know what? That's some gems. Like that was shit. Cause Ray Ray, you know, he he probably single handedly like he was everybody's homeboy. You feel me? Like, like we love like, him. Oh no, Ray Ray Roll was he was the morning show. You had to wake up to this man. This man had this man did five counters in the morning, bro. This man was Miss Essence. This man was coach. This man was Roscoe. This man was, this man was all these people. You feel me? And yep. that sets your morning off. You had to wake up in the morning so you can hear right in the morning talk that noise. Right before school, yeah. And, and a great host. And just a great dude all around, man. So, you know, yep. one time, Ray Ray, then I can't forget about, because, you know, it's a team, too. So I can't forget about DJ Ross Ski. What? Ski? I heard he running for, like, uh, office or something. Yeah, yeah, uh, I think I think he's gonna, he gonna step uh, hold hold off for a minute before he, before he dive all the way in. But he's yeah. definitely uh, thinking about diving into uh, the city councilman. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, he that type of dude. He always been that type of dude. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, politics are cruel and, and, and critical. So he's just trying to figure out how he want to walk into it. But yeah, man, ski uh, ski still at it, man. Ski still a no legend. One of the, you know one of the biggest DJs that you ever gonna meet from this market is DJ Rod Ski. Sure will. Sure is, man. I'm talking about he all the way through. He he that yeah. he, he that dude when it comes to that. Man, um, even this, hey, 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 bro. This man used to have lockdown shout out, man. This man used to have lockdown shout outs, man. People yeah. incarcerated. These folks is in jail. Can't talk to their family, but you can hear your family telling you I love you over the phone, over the radio. I think he did it for that, you know, they ended up stopping it because it, it was a connection of, you know, everybody was getting through. So you yeah, know, you know, you know how it is. Yeah. <laughs> You know, the dude who did the work, did the worst today. People talk about, you know, sorry, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shouts out to my, my people or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, he was a he was a motherfucker, like he 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 did that, and like that was that, you know, it's it's good that you said that, man. Like, that show you how much character, uh, all y'all y'all got, man. Like, 
93 BLH uh, uh, is, a, is affiliated with some great people. Because seriously, you, like out of everybody, and it's not to take away from nobody, you learn how to finesse the game, I, I think. You know, because you, you, like you said, you stayed dirty Dan. You still yeah, but, a dirty guy. You know what the biggest thing was, Bo? What's See, that? I had to sacrifice my career to a degree. You know what? I was so serious about this rap thing. But we ain't had no platform, so I had to become a, the, 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 the plant inside the station to fight for us to get on the radio. Fight right. to know what's going on with the, the other uh, side. Yeah. So if I hear something, and I know it's beneficial to the system or the movement or a particular label or somebody, I can take that connection and connect that dot. So right. yeah, so yeah, you're right. Yeah. I was that guy for that. You know what I'm saying? Because I, yeah. I caught my position. And, I, and the thing about it was the power in it. I think the power gave me the understanding that like, it's so much power in this little small thing. Everybody, it you is. know, the radio station ain't paying a lot. Or uh, you're using a lot of your personal time to get things done. It's sacrifice. But the power in it was I knew some things that people didn't know and I could take it to them and, and turn it into something. Yep. You know, they, they come through with yep. the company in the street, man, and pass out flyers. I'm their guy. But I got yep. three that don't do fly. We bust it down together. <laughs> it's about to host this show. <laughs> right. I told me another way. I told Kay, I've been getting paid out rap money. I mean, I've been getting paid off the entertainment business for over 20 years just for that time. Thing. Not, not, not just because I'm, I got to drop music to, to look for a check. When you promoting, hosting, DJing, this is the, this is the business. <laughs> <laughs> like this is <laughs> yeah because you gotta stay busy it's like you gotta stay busy you got so i mean like bro like you got so many different things i had a list of stuff that i was yeah. going down and i was yeah. like man i can't go i can't go through this list man i because because you do so many different things man give me something give, give me some jay give me some give me some let's see what you, how, 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 how you thinking give me some man well uh you have one uh well one thing i did want to ask you too uh, living the life. The, uh, what inspired you to do that video, and who shot the video? Well, uh, Zaire, Zaire shot the video. Zaire is a uh, uh, a Picasso's brother. They are uh, they they, they, uh, they full time hustlers film. Yeah, uh, they've been doing their thing for a minute. You even probably heard of Picasso. Um, and uh, you know yeah. Zaire, he does own videos and a bunch of different uh, artist cap videos and stuff like that. But uh, the reason I, I did that record, man, when I was I did that at Full Moon too, Full Moon Studio. Um, yeah, I, um, that particular song, it's just I was just in that mindset, like because even in the last verse, you know, I got my label, I had to, um, uh, at the time, my iPhone four digital label, and I got JB and, and Ward and First Lady and, and Clee B, and all of them a part of it. And I was just kind of talking them throughout the song and just talking, just talking to people, like you know what I'm saying? I'm living this the life, it. I'm living that life. You look at that TV, and I'm in your face. Yeah, it's yeah. different because it's so you you know you 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 thinking like that that artist on that on, on that TV could be really that rich, but then he could just be a, a, another artist with imagery giving you that imagery. Right. But this is him, and that's what I and, I and I and I just told the whole story, you know, within that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was looking think, at the footage and I was like, I I know he he like I don't know scene for scene the, the shit was on point because I felt it because I know the yeah. area. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I I just wanted to, wanted to uh, you know kind of put the exposure out there just from just from that standpoint. And then when I shot that video too, I I was in transition too. I was in transition from 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 uh, from leaving BLX at the same time, figuring out what this next these next uh, this next twenty gonna be like. Yeah, <laughs> that's why. Yeah, yeah, because I, I, yeah, I looked at. Uh... I yeah, I knew the uh, time on it, but that that probably was a crazy ass time for you though. Like, yeah, yeah. What I, was I the hardest? Oh, go ahead. I was saying, I think the only thing for me was the fact of um, you give so many, so much time to something, and you got to be prepared for that transition. Just so having, I was, you know what I'm saying, because I had done everything in the building, bro. I, I done everything you could do in the building. <laughs> and my next level to be was only to be the program director. I own the building. I do the morning show. <laughs> right. <You know? laughs> So Steve Harvey got the morning show. He syndicated a lot of <laughs> the program director. He barely knew, and and, I, and then I realized that, that that wasn't something I really wanted to do because that takes your whole life as well. 
So uh, when I walked out that station that day, I just came, I went to my office. I had an office myself, went to my Damn. own office. They, they well, won. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> hey, I, was, hey, I, I was just telling you, but listen, I'm advertising with the state. I got a festival coming up in two weeks. I'm, I'm advertising with the station right now. And I told my uh, my sales rep that today, she, you know, she was there, like, the day I left the station, I just came to my office and sat at my desk and said, day one. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. Like, I see it. Like, that's how I know you finessed. Like, that's why I say you finessed it the right, like, everything the right way, bro. Like, you you showed, like, you you the blueprint, bro. You the blueprint. Yeah, it's, you uh, know. But the other thing I was looking at, see, you had like, like I had stopped getting music summits because I was looking, I was like, I seen the, you got the, uh, on July 10th, you got the uh, Mobile Music Summit. But back in 2020, you had the Vision Music Industry uh, at the Jazzy Blues, you had that event. Yeah. And then you had the Ugly Music Money Music, uh, Ugly Money Music Summit. And that's what I had. I was like, yo, I get it. This motherfucker, be, he, he's the real deal. Like real yeah, shit. I just I, I support the real like 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 the uh you, the thing I did the, the, the Jazz the Blues thing like we, I was a part of that but uh the Ugly Money Music Summit that was some my partner uh Ugly Money Nietzsche put on and if you're a tastemaker and you moving around uh in this business you gotta test with the other tastemakers and that's his platform so I had to be there I had to had to be a part of that I had to, I had to go endorse that you know what I'm saying right. that folks Ugly Money a real dude he he right now they on tour right now. Um, he got his artist channel Monet and some other artists and they're bouncing around, but they coming out of Georgia. So when you come to Alabama, Mississippi, or one of these different markets, we cross paths, so we gotta work together. So, you know, um with this music summit that's coming up, it's me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a board member at the arts council now. Hey, so what so, <laughs> so my goal, my, hey, then I'm the chairman of member membership and volunteers. So they done fucked up, man. <laughs> hey, so my, my, my job is to get some of us in that arts council, bro. So yeah, I, I told them, you know, I want to get you know create a uh, a performing arts directory for venues and artists. And this is one of our first ways to introduce the uh mm -hmm. the, the uh, performance arts piece to the community as a whole because um uh, you know the arts council is all about the arts. They just they right. have a big a performing arts in there. You know what I'm saying? They, they 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 support it and they perform, but they just don't have any like educational pieces. Yeah. And that's what we add to the game. And and oh, it's an no. honor to do it on that level because it's more about crossing the lines and get everybody involved. This is not about uh being a trapped out event. This is about to be some real mm -hmm. at the single theater type of uh, uh event, that, you know. That's dope. Come and goddamn let these folk know what's going on. I see the I see the goddamn the new bus back rock. Let these folk know what's going on. Man, you know, celebrating 20 years of bus back man. Got new artist solid black and easy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Barbara the jeweler. And just keeping the brand alive, man, keeping it, keeping it going for the culture. And uh we finally somewhere in life, you know what I'm saying? Mobile somewhere. We, we on the rise yeah. right now. So, yeah. you know, I had to bring it back, you know what I'm saying? We started this thing 20 years ago. Yeah. From, from, from from me to the Spar Ride, Cisco, the 334 Bar, the Lost Soul, to Bama Black, to Tony Montana, to now we still here standing. Yeah. So we got that, you know, the new bus back going. Yeah. You know, a whole lot more. Alabama Hip Hop Radio, MOB Music Fest, Alabama Hip Hop Week, still our folk, Opportunity yeah. Entertainers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Show. So you so you got a lot of shit in the motherfucking yeah. fire, man. And uh I respect that shit because you juggling. You feel me too? And uh I wanna say, goddamn, I need that motherfucking sweatsuit, man. <laughs> oh, you got the motherfucking side, but I fuck with the side too. Man, hey, man, you can't come through the smoke room without getting any no merch and shit, man. Oh um, <clears throat> okay, I had uh let me see what else it had. Okay, you, you did uh, Living the Life. So you did that song, uh, Living the Life, but did you shoot that during COVID? Uh, I shot it. Well, I shot it. You don't this remember year. what last year? Right before. I think I, I, I just reached it. It's probably about a year, a year or so, a year and a half old or something. So right before COVID, mm -hmm. right before COVID, I had shot it. And uh, I think I put it out right when it was probably when it came out, though. So it, it's probably. It's probably a year old. The record was kind of a little older than that. I just, I just, I, I got in that mold, man. Yeah, man, yeah. Man, I, should, I, I reached out about my, my song for uh, getting popular. I shot a new video for that, getting popular. I did a song yeah. called Years. 
uh, with me and Rich Life Key, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, I was, li- all day I've been listening to all the music, like, yeah, I was. <laughs> man, listen, I was- man, I was there playing some of my music and I had some, art- some artists in here and they was going through, they were just like, hold on. They're like, man, they ain't kind of stepping on, 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 on the slick, but then they start realizing it's a lot of songs you recognize, like Dirty Guy, Dirty Guy, Dirty Dan, Dirty. Dirty. Man, you gonna rec- like, man, hey, if a nigga say he from Mobile and he don't recognize that song, man, he lying. He is not from Mobile. Man, listen, man, that was down in one of my intros at one time. That was <laughs> it, boy, I'm talking about. You, hey, you you got in there, I'm telling you, you were putting that shit in there. You were like, yeah, man, I got it. Yeah. I kind of I knew, like, back in the day when you got with the radio station, I said, because you never stop rapping, I said, oh, I think he owned something. Now, yeah. now it's what, like, 19 years later, 18 years later, I'm like, yeah, he was on his own. But yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> he was really on his own. Hey, I, I ain't lying. Like, I was just trying to find my way. Like, the whole the whole thing was trying to find a way to, to get more exposure, to build, to build it our way up, man. And then it comes with, it comes with the uh the job, man. You you get the opportunity to do all these things, and yeah. now you gotta you gotta keep on evolving, keep on growing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, um, when you was in when you was in the military, uh, what 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 did you do? Did you think you was gonna ever like get out and actually do this? Like when you know, because you did about what eight years? Yeah, yeah. Well, I did I did four years active. Then I I joined the National Guard when I got out. Okay. And I, so, but the, but the thing was, that was that was the plan. The plan was to go to the army, find out did I really want to do this? Yeah, and then do it. Ah, <laughs> dope shit. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I found my way. <laughs> <laughs> For real, that was my plan. Damn. Yeah, I, I, me and my pops were just talking about this, man. I, I was uh, I was coming back from uh. From uh from Fort Port Fort, Fort Port, Louisiana. Yeah. And, and uh we were talking about my music. Probably like shit. I don't know about that, son. But so many things that transpired on the last 20 years, he was like, God damn, boy, you had a plan, you had a vision. You know what I'm saying? You did, yeah. Hey, yeah, have you ever heard of have you ever heard of this guy named Bob Proctor? He a white dude. Proctor. Yeah. He's a yeah, well, Bob Parker's a, a millionaire. He do like um, financial seminars, and he help companies fix their books and shit like that. Huh? And, uh, and and one thing he said, and I learned a long time ago about people also, is when you got that blessing on you, it starts from the very beginning. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I had to ask you about the military because it's always been, you always been this guy. Like no shit. Like it's always been with you the success and. You like right now while we've been doing this right now, and when I when you said yeah, you would do it, how fast you said it, that's what blew the shit out of me. And then we on here now, and it, I'm kind of like, yeah, yo, thank you a lot, man, for having you on here. I just I, I definitely got to give your flowers one more time because because yeah. I just sit here and realize like, damn, you know, um, from the beginning because I didn't even know you was in the military, but. Um, just to make it from there and to know exactly what the fuck you want to do and be doing exactly what you want to be doing. Yeah, you I know, the thing about it though, but I got to say this though, like, you know, it ain't been easy. But the I whole, know. the passion and the love for it, that's what drives you. You can't no. stop because of people, you know, I got all the, you can't raps. I got all the, that shit ain't gonna work. I got all the, man, anybody on that? I got all that, but mm-hmm. guess what? Everybody yeah. On now. Everybody, they mama on it. Everybody, they mama, they mama rapping. Everybody, they mama. Like, see, the reason Dirty Dan still relevant is because Dirty Dan stopped. He ain't never, I ain't never stopped when everybody else stopped. So when he, everybody was going through their droughts and shit like that, I was still doing something. Still shooting a video, doing music, or supporting somebody, or doing something. Because I understand this is all I, man, this all I've, this all I've been doing for the last 20 years, bro. I, I had to sit back and realize, I was like, I had a couple, couple times, a few times I had some, some, some other types of jobs in the process just to get by. Yeah. Truly dedicated every day doing something related to the entertainment business and music 
That's what I've been on. Damn. Man, that's that's what's up though, man. Cause I mean, is it that's that's the thing about it. It's a lot of highs. Like when, when you look from the internet and, and uh you see a lot of highs, but like, yeah, people don't understand about the lows, man. Like you had overcome that shit to still be here. You know what I'm saying? And now you you in that destination where you was pointing at, you was telling everybody this the whole time. Hey, listen, man. <laughs> this this right here, this right here gonna be exclusive for you in the show, bro. I'm gonna tell you something. The first week, the first week I was about to start my job at the morning on the morning show. I had a show. We opened up for juvenile. We had the temple, same place where I did the hip hop summer jam at. And got into a fight with the security guard, with the police. The nigga pulled his, his, his belt buckle off and threw his whole belt buckle off. With his gun and holster over a nigga's shoulder and bust my head. Had 13 staples in my head. What? This was Saturday night before I started my job on Monday. I wanted to kill this man, man. <laughs> I wanted to kill this man. He wanted to ride and everything on his man. All I could think about was that was that was my that was that was I had a choice. I went to the radio station that, that, that Monday morning with 13 staples in my head with a hat on. And Ray Ray said on the radio, hey, this is for all the, all the security guards out there. Shit, man, don't touch Dirty Dan, man. Dirty Dan cannot be touched. Don't touch the Dirty Dan. The dirty Dan. He can move how he want to move out this motherfucker. Don't, don't mess with him. You feel <laughs> me? Damn. Well, my, my, my first time, I wanted to kill him. First of all, he did it the, the most cowardice way. But he suffered for that just, just because I I. I let God handle it, but that would have changed the whole yeah. to, to, uh, trajectory of, of who I am, what I am doing today, bro. I yeah. told my partner this the other day because niggas talking about licks, you know what I'm saying? But it was, I, I had to look at it as karma though, because uh, that was uh 2003 in 1998. I hit somebody in the head with a bottle in Hawaii. Cut my nerves, my tendons, and everything in my hand, bro. And if I put this scar, if I put this scar right here in, in, in the seam of my hand, next to my head right here, that shit matches. Wow. That's karma. Damn. That's karma. Word it up. Word up. I, I hit somebody. Damn. God gave my lick back, and I had to make a decision. What you going to do now? I know a dude wanted to kill me. He couldn't get to me. They locked me up, though. Dang. But situation, I thought I could have killed him. I ain't do nothing. I ain't sue him or nothing. I seen bro what? several times. But come to find out, even with the dude I had fought, the security guard, we had been jumping, you know, coming from Baltimore. You know, we had been jumping on the man his whole life anyway. He, he finally was in the, in the, in the, in the uh, uh in a position of goddamn, uh, like he's like the man. We had to have one land, he, 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 he got the best of it. But I, I, I had to do that as an example about licks, man. Sometimes you gotta take licks and keep moving, bro, because you can lose it all. And I could have lost right. it all, but I could have made a decision. But I made the right decision by taking my ass to work with them 13 staples in my head and let it heal up and continue chasing my dream. Man, my shit was bloody. I had a pistol jersey on with an all white linen suit, nigga. Blood air. Well, oh, I'm telling you, guess why? What, 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 what about? Because that? a nigga was smoking a cigarette, but not me. Because a nigga was smoking a cigarette inside the temple, and the security put him out, and I went back and got him because we was performing, and he made a big deal out of it. So it was some super petty. Oh man, that I come though. Golly. Yeah, one 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 move to the left, one move to the right, you could have not been here. That's crazy. Yeah, it could have been a, a, whole, a whole other thing. We ain't talking about the shootouts and stuff that we've been all, all, you know, all, all, early days, all the shootouts and, and, oh, and the back man. and forth when it was neighborhood against neighborhood type stuff, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. So it's so crazy to tell people to do. Man, even some of the dudes I got to, we got to with back in the day, man, some of my closest, we, we grown men now, so we, we, we grown men. So we 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 like the closest homeboy in the world. We we're traveling goddamn across the world together now. Right. But back then, you know, no different. We thought we fight for a neighborhood, or fight for a side or a color, or whatever we thought we fight for. 
Yeah, and it, yeah, that that shit used to be so crazy, man. And you know, it, to a certain extent, these it's new knuckleheads out there doing it too. You know what I'm saying? And but you know, like I I think you know it's the crime in Mobile back in the days. Like people think it's bad now and stuff. Back in the days, man, it was at a whole different 91, 92. Come on, man. That shit was bad. There's a lot of people that make it back then. Man, let me know, man, the folk, the folk watching Colors and uh, banging the Lil Rock and all that shit, man. Well, <laughs> <laughs> hey, all types of Crips and Bloods and GDE with the popular money. <laughs> you don't know what a nigga claiming no more. Niggas are claiming something on your ass. Man, it's, it's, it's different now, though. Hey, 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 Bo, it's different now. It's like, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh it's size now. So, you, you know, it always yep. was the west side, or uh, west Mobile. That's west side, you know, uh, down the bay, that's south side. You know, preacher no. side, that's north side. Oh, it, no. It's, 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 they, they don't, that's a young generation. They, they size, and they claim blocks now. That's why I know Captain them like 1600. <laughs> that shit, that shit that's is. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, verb, that verb being, that's 1600, you know what I'm saying? That so that's, 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 that's their movement. That, hey, but, hey, but they got something going on, though. Like, it's, it's. I don't know. I like the I like the new mobile generation though, but I I still don't think you know they're as bad as it was back in the day with us. So I ain't gonna lie. Like, I, they, I, 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 Bo, the only thing they got, man, that, that that make it bad worse. We knew shit was happening, and it, 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 we knew that shit. Now. These folks. Yeah, it's random shit. shit. Yeah, I the nigga the whole head chopped off. Yeah. <laughs> like they, you know, you heard about somebody that had to shoot out somebody fight over here. You heard about that shit. But now yeah. you see that. <laughs> That's how quick it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you ain't lying. All right. I'm not gonna I ain't gonna hold you up too long, damn man. Shit. I've got to go get me something to eat. But uh, yo, man, look, what uh, I, cause I had to ask you this too, man. Like, who are you got? Like, what projects you got coming out? Uh, and your artists and all of that. Like, who? Cause I seen like it was uh, uh, Neezy Knee, Neezy Knee, oh. yeah, Neezy oh. Knee and uh, Solid Black. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's what's going on right now, man. We just getting ready for that new bus back, man. Uh, like I said, I'm working on the studio right now, but get ready for Needs. Needs got a, a single press shot right now. Everybody can right now can go download it on all digital platforms. Go watch the video on YouTube. It's Neezy Pressure. Uh, she's working on her next single, uh, uh, Do Your Dance, about to come. And then um, Solid Black, man. Solid Black, the nigga just incredible, man. He got the sound. He got the look. The dude is just incredible, man. And he got he got a couple records out. He got a solid set out. And he got a song called Levitate. He get ready for a certified uh, EEP. So we're going to roll all that stuff out. But also my Octane family uh, out of Montgomery, they got the staff go. But uh, Octane, JD about to drop. Shouts out to Kilo Wu, uh, Kaylin, Lil Willie, Bone, all them out there. And then, of course, I got uh, Bob, Bob the Jeweler in the tuck. So I got a couple artists in, in the tuck. Then I still got the artists I've been working with, the real Nino. Uh, Nino been uh, blazing a lot. He's in Atlanta right now, matter of fact, too. That's where he at. But uh, he got a record called Turn Up. Uh, it's on all digital platforms, and he get a lot of traction right now. He's been on tour with QC, uh, DJs, and PTE for the last month or two. And uh, we just working, man. We just continue to build the market up, building the grind up, and keeping it going. Uh, I'm looking, I'm looking to drop me some music and some tapes as well. I'm hosting tapes. Whatever, whatever, whatever people need from me, I'm here, man. They can find me. I am DJ Dirty Dan online. That's my website. I am DJ Dirty Dan. Uh, you can find me on Instagram. I for CEO. DJ Dirty Dan 251. But that's what I'm here for. I'm here to support. I'm here to bridge the gap. I'm keeping I'm here to keep it keep it connected and do what I whatever I gotta do to uh continue building mobile music scene. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Cause I said, man, look, I said, man, I know he got a bunch of stuff. I seen you, and that was another thing. That's why I said, man, like if I really ask you I, all of this shit on this list, man, then I'm gonna owe you money. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> So what I'm saying is, you had uh, uh you had uh, music, you had 
the new he was hosting uh tapes and shit like that. And yeah. I was like, yo, he he got tapes, he got that's why I had to ask you about the about films and stuff like that. You're gonna yeah, uh, dive into that, man. You know, uh what what I'm I'm, I'm just I'm just Get in where I can fit in, where I can, where I can fit in with the thing, I man, and build a scene up and do as much as I can. But what I got in the in the next three weeks is about my foundation, what I've been building, man. You know, I got the festival happening, MOB Music Fest. It's a local artist music festival, all genres of music. It's July 9th through 11th in the downtown Mobile. It's free to the public. I'm just, I just want to be the soundtrack for Mobile. Uh, right. You know, this is our fourth year. Last year we had to go uh, virtual because of COVID. Um, but we're back outside, so we're going to be doing that. During that time, the music summit is happening that Saturday, July 10th. We're doing that with the Mobile Arts Council. People can go mm -hmm. to mobilearts.org right now to, to, to sign up to be a part of that. If you become a member, you, you come for free. If you want to pay just to come, it's cost 25 bucks. I suggest everybody be a member, uh, but at the same time, you just want to pay to come, that's cool as well. And then right after that, we're jumping into Alabama Hip Hop Week. 14 years, man. Alabama Hip Hop Week. Yeah. It's off through 18, kick it off. Uh, introducing the radio station with a, with, a, with a ribbon cutting. And then that all that week, we, we throughout the state, going from market to market, you know, going uh, uh, Birmingham, Huntsville, and Montgomery, and uh, networking, building up, doing the showcases, you know, connecting with the DJs and the artists, and connecting the dots. And that's For what sure. I got to get to the social, man. The sum of mine, I own the sum. <laughs> sum of mine, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> my shit. It sure is. It sure is. I'm, I'm with you on that. The summer is, it, it is dirty dance, my nigga. The dirty guy. That's what the fuck I'm talking about, man. I'm 100% with you, man. Yeah. Like, What's going on? But, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, your platform, bro. Level, level, level this thing up, man. Sometimes it's hard. You know, this, this stuff is time consuming, man. Oh, man, it's a motherfucker. Just, just, do it. Just, just, just continue growing and building your brand, man, because that's all you got. That's all yeah. you got right now, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, what you build. People, people, people will say, hey man, you don't gotta do this right now. You can wait for that. Now nah, do what the hell you want to do, bro. Like, you know, you've been right. doing this shit already. You you 20 years in the game. Whew. Man, who you telling? Yeah. I, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> and you what to do and what not to do. And you and you've been sacrificing your own time and time and money and yeah. it should be where you at in this thing, bro. Do and your thing. Keep on bright. Motherfucker heat in the storm and the motherfucker hurricane. I feel you on that. Especially if that shit working after after over 20 people started watching the show. I, I said shit, I'm on the soul. Fuck it. And uh I feel like like guys like yourself really inspired me. You know what I'm saying? I I, I would say you, Rem Steel, um, just watching DJ Rod Ski. And that just a, yeah, and just you know, and just a lot of people, man, who who had it that inspired me because wherever I went, I I had Mobile with me. I'm from New Orleans, but I grew up out there in Mobile. You know what I'm saying? So, um, man, I'm so happy to have you on this show. If I was an speaking, artist, speaking huh? speaking of New Orleans, yeah, no wonder y'all used to have goddamn no limit, uh, Mister Mister and Mister Servo and all the that. Servo, yes. The shout out to my nigga Sir, my, my brother. <laughs> yeah, big Sir, yeah. man. Yeah, y'all, hey, hard time had you to have all the stars at the barbershop, man. <laughs> man, what the barbershop was the spot back in the day, man. I, man, everything happened at that shop. Uh, yeah, if, I was, man. if I was a new artist right now, man, I had me some music, man. What's the best way to present? That's one of the last things I, I need to ask you so it can help somebody uh, out. You just, you, you just, you just gotta, you gotta get at me, man, uh, by email and reach out to me on social media. I'm gonna follow back up, but you know that the the, the 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 first the first time that we talk or speak, like that's just the introduction. It's like what's your follow up game? Because I'm gonna ask you some serious things. I'm gonna ask you what you're doing, what's your how you moving, what's your budget, what you, what you're trying to do, so I can know what services I can help you with. Because you know, it's so many different things that you can do, but it might not be time for you to do it yet. So I'm gonna have a real consult a, a consultation with with an artist. And talk to them about what we could do together. You know what I'm saying? Uh, how something help them for my platform. But just uh, you, you always can submit uh, music to uh, uh, Alabama Hip Hop Radio at gmail.com. Uh, you always can hit the inbox and reach out. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, or the DM and reach out. I'm always open to that. But I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. I'm here for whoever to help. 
whoever need the support, whoever whoever need the the uh, the, the, the the connection, because that's that's my new role now. Bro, my new role, my new job. Yeah. I'm a dot connect. <laughs> I like that shit, man. The dot connect. I feel you. That's what's up, man. Hey, uh, shit. I don't know, man. I don't hang up, man. But I'm about to close this up. This is okay. episode 104. The dirty guy, dirty dad. And uh, <laughs> this is uh, the honorable DJ Mellow Monkey Radio Show. Y'all check me out on YouTube, uh, Odyssey. That's the new platform that I'm fucking with. Um, and anyway, you can listen to podcasts. Thank y'all very much. See y'all later. Don't hang up, Dan. Now, this right here, even if you're on your church shit, I'm telling you, you can drink this. This is Elu Ray. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. I don't drink much, but I'm going to show y'all something right here. You just take the top off of it, and uh, you pop it. And this right here, this this version is Cran Mango. Cran Mango. Y'all like that? Hmm. Ooh, shit. Elu Ray. Get y'all some of that Elu Ray today. I drank that shit straight out of the goddamn bottle. Hit up EI Shoot at 365. EI Shoot 365 at gmail.com. Hit up EI Shoot 365 at gmail.com. I'm drinking this shit out the bottle. It's called Elu Ray. Y'all come get y'all some of this. Tune into the show. Watch it sit in the background. Y'all come get y'all some of this shit. Come on. Come on. Email that man. Email right there. Come on. Email him. Hit him up for a bottle of this. Hold up. Hold up. It's about to go down. Dirty guy. Dirty guy. Dirty Dan. Dirty Dan. Beat him easy. Beat him easy. You hit me. You hit me. Go get him. It's the dirty guy. Dirty guy. Dirty Dan. Yeah, you.
ice cold No location, nobody knows You gotta live your life till you're old I don't wanna be 64 and broke No, I grind hard Yeah, I do this, I grind smart I do this from the heart That's why I tell First Lady JB and Lil Ward The CEO on his job I got kids, I do this for I want them to have the world and plenty more If you don't understand, it's you Who I do it for Yeah. Let's go.